Before we go today, I'm going to introduce you to one of your Democratic candidates for Sheriff, Tom Petek. Tom, thank you for being with me today. Jenna, thank you for having me on the show. You're welcome. Now, let's start by having you tell our viewers a little bit about your background and experience. I've worked for Monroe County Sheriff's Office almost 25 years. Matter of fact, next couple of days would have been my 25th year anniversary. Okay. And on June 1st, I chose to retire mm -hmm. and to go after the political side of this okay. 100%. So your retirement isn't peaceful right now, right? <laughs> no, no, it's far from peaceful. It's been extremely busy. Extremely busy. Okay. What, what's your campaign, Tom? Uh, campaign in a nutshell is this. I've been with the agency almost 25 years. Um, I've done a variety of things for the Sheriff's Office, Marine Unit, Civil Process Server, um, Community Policing Officer, School Resource Officer, Road Patrol Deputy Field Training, and I pretty much covered a wide variety of things that we do. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I think the agency has gotten away from in the last 15 years is community policing. Mm -hmm. And community policing is a philosophy. It's something that starts at the top and filters its way down. But it's not all about the Sheriff's Office. It's about a partnership with the community where the sheriff's office and the community get together and they sit down and they address problems throughout the county. Now what's a problem on, say, Stock Island is not a problem in Key Largo. Mm -hmm. And it takes the deputies interacting with the community and the businesses and to go into those businesses and into the communities and meet with people and figure out what the problems are. Mm -hmm. um, during my campaign we did a uh, 100 mile, 106 mile walk, we started in Key Largo and worked our way down to Key West and one of the goals was to go into the businesses, introduce myself to show that one, I'm approachable and two, that I'm concerned about what's happening throughout the Keys. Mm -hmm. And the goal as a sheriff um, is to have my people more or less do the same thing. They need to go into businesses, they need to leave a business card with a contact number, ask if there's any current issues that are going on and to tell them if, they're, if there isn't, here's my name, here's my number, give me a call. Mm -hmm. And the public, the business community, the citizens should know who the people are working in their areas. They should feel comfortable approaching them and say, look, I got this, this, and this going on. What should I do or what can you do to help me? Mm -hmm. And we should be that accessible. Um, where that's going to take us is into, um, I like to see our, our employees get involved in the community, and be mentors in the community. Mm -hmm. And where all this is leading is, one is, we need to find future employees. Our future employees are here in the Keys. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that go to church on Sunday. They're the ones you see in the grocery store. Um, they're the ones you see in the neighborhoods or in sports programs with their kids. Um, they need to be part of the community. And in order, you need to be part of the community in order to understand and address the problems that are happening in the community. Okay. Now, why would you say you are most qualified for this position, Tom? I come from a varied background. I spent seven years in the United States Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, we're dealing with several issues that are facing the sheriff's office. One is a morale problem. Uh, one of the last jobs I did in the Air Force was that we produced a product that went out every 30 days. My employees were people that had gotten in trouble with the Air Force and had one foot out the door kind of thing. And we were able to increase production to where we were ahead six months, okay. ahead of schedule. So I got, I understand and know how to turn morale around to make things better. Um, Community policing, I think the deputies will take pride in what they do. I think they'll feel a, a sense of accomplishment. Um, we got very good people out there. It's just, I think they're being led in the wrong direction. Uh, another important issue that we're missing out on is the training. Florida leads the nation in law enforcement deaths, and it's for two years running and it's tied into training, and we do need to do more than just what the mandatory training that we're required to do once a year. We need to do more of that. Do more of that. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing all of this information for our viewers. Thank you for having me on your show. That's going to do it for us today, everyone. I will be back tomorrow at 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and again at 7 p.m.
please join me. Have a good day. It'll be okay It'll be okay A night's 